of the worst school shootings in U.S. history, the murders at Columbine High School last April, and it's still fresh in the country's mind. Now, a new twist. Police in a New Jersey town discovered a satire, a movie of the Columbine shooting filmed at a local school. And now, as Michael Ayala reports, they've arrested two amateur movie makers for weapons possessions. Michael? Nancy, you may be wondering, as our viewers may be wondering, how you get from movie making to weapons charges? Well, I'm going to tell you. These two enterprising young filmmakers have made a low-budget, extremely gory movie that, that really mimics, of all things, the Columbine High School Massacre. Now, while police can't arrest the pair for bad taste or bad movie making, they can arrest them for bad judgment, as in carrying weapons onto school property while making the movie. One of the suspects is 26-year-old William Apresino. He lives in the basement of this home in Ringwood, New Jersey, and apparently is a member of an underground group of movie makers who create, sell, and trade what are called chiller films. Low budget, bad acting, sadistic, bloody from beginning to end. The films are marketed during so-called chiller conventions, where people interested in blood, gore, and violence gather to sell their wares. The second suspect is 21-year-old Joseph R. Miller. Both he and Apresino star in their latest movie as two killers who murder a number of high school classmates. The parallels to Columbine are obvious and intentional. The movies are protected under the First Amendment, which guarantees freedom of speech. But in the process of filming the movie last August, they filmed themselves with weapons on the grounds of a New Jersey grade school. Police in Ringwood say that's a felony, and the two movie makers recorded the evidence themselves. It's a day and age where police across the country take all such incidents seriously in an effort to head off the next Columbine-type incident before it happens. We used to hear it a lot. It can't happen here. Now, here is here. A girlfriend of one of the movie makers showed up to bail him out of jail. She also acted in the movie and says it's no big deal and no one knew the actors were breaking the law. I, I'm baffled at this entire situation. She says her boyfriend made the Columbine movie for under $6,000 and has already sold 100 copies. The movie is being advertised on a website which has already attracted some complaints from Colorado, including from at least one Columbine parent. But the website, which advertises all the blood and gore the movie contains, is apparently legal. The two producers still face felony charges over the weapons violations. And Nancy, I still say there should be a law against bad movie making. Book a Michael.